Hi Robin with OxyDry. And uh, as you can see, I've got the Challenger out today. <laughs> for this job anyway. And uh, um, this carpet's quite soiled right in here. There's a couple of uh, really obvious spots that were here. But I pre-treated with my, with my uh, Suspend. And uh, I've got CLO2 on it by the way. Uh, and anyway, I, I pre-treated it. She said there was a coffee stain there. And uh, appears to be disappeared. There's a couple of faint marks there that are still there but I haven't cleaned yet I just I just pre-treated with a suspend and I sprayed I'm cleaning with my stair mix which is Omega Citrus and uh, so I'm just doing this small room I did another room was even smaller than this so that's one of the reasons I decided I'll bring the challenger and use it I carry it with me now and uh, I'll use it occasionally I still prefer the rotary just so you know absolutely but eh, it's fun to play with a different machine so, um, let's give it a try. Now, one thing I noticed right away when I was doing the other room was uh, it just definitely didn't want to go one direction very well. I think I could you know, make it go that way, but it, it just doesn't want to go in certain directions on the carpet. That's, that's pretty typical for uh, NLP. It's not terrible or anything, but it's definitely a... Uh, you know, a difference. <clears throat> now, I did replace the bearing in here, so you probably notice this thing sounding a lot brighter than it was the first time I <laughs> used it. Oh, look at that. The vibration knocked something down. I mean, it's not like it's terribly vibrating, but it is vibrating. Even though that's not a word. Oh, now I'm trying to make it go to the left, but actually, it's effort. Make it go that direction. It wants to go to the right. And right now I'm trying to mix it over the left, but again, that's that's what happens with an LP on the carpet. The carpet leans one way or the other, and it'll tend to want to follow the path of least resistance. Okay, so let's uh, work our way in. I used the obviously I used the rotary earlier today. In fact. I should have a video of that up before this one. And, and, and I was thinking as I was using the rotary, it, it's just so easy. This does take more effort, even just to push it when I'm doing right now. See if I push it and I'm pulling, push and pull. That requires my biceps and my shoulders and I can feel it in my lower back a little bit. So this is, uh, I don't know, 66 pounds, I think, plus the resistance. Um, I do have a glide underneath small one and I'm running with Superzorb pad which is the, the pad that you use uh, or made by uh, the manufacturers of the Vibe and this has the Vibe um, pad driver on it, the Velcro pad driver for the Vibe machine that works perfectly well. I did a video showing how that can easily be put on the Challenger machine. It does not have the original Challenger pad driver on this pad driver is about an inch larger in diameter. But this thing doesn't seem to have any trouble at all with it. Oh, I really honestly would not want to use this all day long. I can feel it all in my upper body when I'm moving it. I know that there are those who are, have been using uh, this machine who switch over to the uh, rotary and who immediately <coughs> realize that it, it does take a lot more effort to use a challenger. I'm not saying you shouldn't go and you want to be a low moisture operator. Uh, a challenger is a, a choice for a machine. You can certainly make a living doing this with a challenger but I'm telling you a rotary would be uh, easier physically and when you learn how to use the rotary with the different attachments you have and or a brush or whatever plus the rotary you're going to be able to do a big commercial jobs I, mean, I do a lot of condo hallways and I would I definitely would not want to be using this for doing condo hallways. 
and that would kill me by the end of the day. But then I have bent, uh, wheel, wheels down OPs. I have a Vibe, I have an Orbot, I have the Orbitech. And they were great for the wide open areas. So they have their place, I think. But I do not like, for lots of reasons, I don't like OP in the residential setting. And one reason, I mean, I can feel this thing vibrating. I mean, it is vibrating. And the floor of Lonely uh, is vibrating. So if I was in an apartment, People up down below will be getting vibrated like crazy. <laughs> and this is a. This one has a. You know, is less has less vibration than some others out there. So. But anyway, I have an opportunity to use it, and so I am. I'm looking forward to my next job because I'm going to be using my rotary. And I do like the rotary better. I just, just everything about it. But anyway, the stains are coming out here. It's cleaning fine. It's gonna look great. I'll run the vacuum over it as soon as I'm done. And uh, and then I'll be done with the job. So we want to take a look at the pad. Over here, one more time. Right there. You can see there's a. Uh, some wear showing on the carpet here. But you know, the gear is over the carpet. Okay, I'll let take a look at the take a look at the pad here. Yep, definitely dirty. Alright, thank you for watching and have a good day.